And now you will listen to me as I talk about something that I have long been wanting to talk about. Namely this backpack, which is, I have come to regard as the best of its kind for the kind of journey that I am on right now. Back, back packing. Yes. I hope you can hear my voice over the din of the propellers. The um, it's not really a review. It's just me talking about something important to me. It's the Kestrel 58. From Osprey. And we will pause now because my neighbor is getting loud. And we'll just take it easy now. Okay. Here we go again. Kestrel 58. I have come to respect and love this backpack for backpacking journeys meaning hostels simple means of transportation like trains and buses and cheap airfare 58 is i consider 60 liters the ideal size and if you want to deviate better go down in size than up what i see around me is people with travelers with 65 liters and i hold it to be absolutely maximum capacity it must be no bigger than that Uh, the reason is spaces are tight in developing countries in trains and buses and in uh, dormitories um, you saw me take it out of the locker the locker is not big here and this is a much better size than 65 liters why I like it, this particular one, is Osprey has become the gold standard for uh, ease of carrying. Everybody else compare to Osprey. Is it better or worse or is it cheaper or more expensive? Osprey is the standard, and this one, Kestrel, is so good to carry. Well adjusted and well packed, it is great fun to carry. It's simply a good backpack. Easy to carry. Open here, talk to my partner. Ah. When they pack for backpacking, we use the rule of four, I've come to believe. The rule of four, four of everything. Four t-shirts, two sets of pants and so forth by and large four is the maximum one shirt and it goes down here with ease and it doesn't weigh too much 
which is a fantastic good thing. This it has an added feature here. Um, where? God damn it! Here we are. Here we are. It opens up here also. And there's an extra opening here, the front opening. Great stuff. Easy access. And down here, the. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Not easy with just one hand. Access for the. the sleeping bag. Everything you need and just that. No more than just what you need. Uh, highly useful. Everything necessary is here. I'm not sure they make them anymore, the Kestrel and his female counterpart, which name I forget. Is it Kyla? I forget it. I'm pretty sure you can still buy them. Please do so if you are going backpacking. And forget about bringing 65 liters with you. It's not necessary. I have been blessed with a bag that is just the length for both the LM and the SM size. But as you can see, I had to adjust it. I made a mistake when I bought it. I should have had the LM. But I chose the other one, and uh, so I have to go to the very limit of the adjustment scale. But it works just as fine, so never mind. It works for me, that's the way it should be. And here is a brief, brief look at what goes in my backpack. Extra set of pants beside the ones, underwear, polo shirts, sleeping bag, light one, just a light one. Those hostels not always have blankets. Assorted pouches for different things. This one is for electronics, cables and stuff. This one's for pipe and tobacco. Yes, I'm a pipe smoker and so on. Toiletries. Very good things to have. Um, the bag, I mean. You have your own shelf when you go into the bath closet, mostly that I have. This is my washing machine, and that's another story for another time. And here are some compression bags to keep it all tied up. Notebooks, different notebooks. Plastic bag for dirty laundry. A shirt that I don't need while traveling, but I need it when I leave my cold Scandinavian country and then return to it. And very important, my day pack that can be folded and tucked in at this my castle. That's pretty much it. And um, it looks sorry, yes. It is sorry. It is minimal. We just don't do flash packing. All right. And here is a last look at 
pretty much what goes into my backpack right before I pack it. Everything is in compression bags or container bags mostly and it all goes in to this here. Here it is again when packed in full. Here's my day pack folded and tucked in under the hood. Here's some my bathing flip flops and over here can't see it but it's here my towel. These are things that are good to have on the ready and that is outside on the outer pockets. Down here is something else also my cargo bag. Also something that I need all of a sudden in the airport. And that's about it. The Kestrel 58. The best that I have come across um, in terms of backpacking. I can't recommend it for hiking though. And the reason is I can get a bottle into these side pockets. I cannot for the life of me get it out again on the go, which is a deal breaker for a hiking backpack. But you don't need a bottle when you are backpacking, traveling from hostel to hostel. And this one is just excellent for that purpose. Okay, let's try it on as best we can under the circumstances to show you what it looks like on my person. It doesn't look that different from to many other backpacks. What I especially want to show, because I appreciate very much this backpack permits me easily to wear a broad-brimmed sun hat. Not every Osprey will permit that. <coughs> this one will. Okay, this is my random talk about the Osprey Kestrel. 58. Okay, if you can find it, maybe you can try it and see if it works for you.